welcome back to my channel. I wanted to make a video about the least effective to the most effective studying and note taking strategies. Be sure to look down below in the description box for more information about this method and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Share as well. Um, that way you guys can be notified when I make videos. Um, it's free to subscribe and I'm so happy that if you do, you'll be able, you'll be a part of our little family that we're growing here on YouTube. Let's get into the video. The first method um, that is probably gonna be the least effective is gonna be reading the material. Read the material that you're assigned. Take that syllabus that your professor so graciously provided and look it over. What is expected of you? What do you need to read for class next week? What do you have to do for assignments? Are there any quizzes, midterms, or finals for your class? Look that syllabus over and figure out what you need to read for your material for, for class. First, you should read the material. And then, you should reread the material, especially in law school. And then again, read the, the material a third time if necessary to read for additional understanding, to read for uh, definitions and key terms. Get into it. Get that highlighter out, because highlighters are going to be your best friend. I've mentioned this before in a previous video. And get to looking over the material that you are expected to know for class. In terms of studying, it's not going to be the most effective way to retain information, but you definitely you should definitely read the material that is you're expected to know in order to gain a basic understanding of what your professor wants to teach you. Um, like I said, not the most effective, but definitely something you should do. A little bit more effective, but not the most effective, is highlighting. In this video, I'm gonna probably show you highlighting the way you should not do it and highlighting the way you should. Your book should not look like a rainbow by the time you're done. Your book should look like you've picked out keywords and phrases, um, you haven't highlighted the entire paragraph because the entire paragraph is not gonna be important. You take out, if, you're, if your textbook has terms that are bolded or underlined, you wanna highlight that term or phrase and make sure you write that down in your notes. Definitely, definitely, definitely do not over highlight. This is not the best effective method because when you go back, you have no idea what's the most important thing to pull out of that information. So highlight sparingly, but highlight. <laughs> you want to make sure that you capture the main ideas and the details. So maybe put your main ideas or the key facts into one color, like a yellow or a pink, and then put the details that support that main idea in another color, like blue or green. That way, when you go back, you have a key and you know exactly what information is what because of that color that you that you put in it, put it in. So this is gonna be very helpful and it's going to help um, train your eye to um, what's important in your material and it's gonna help you to better to take better notes and organize those notes so that you can do the next step. The next step is going to be outlining. Now this is a law, law student's best friend. Every class you take in law school is going to not require an outline, but it's helpful to get all the information into one place, that you, all the information you've learned in semester into one place. So you definitely want to outline. So take the book that you've taken notes from in the different colors of your highlighting, take any notes that you've made in class and you're going to combine those things into one concise beautiful outline and you know I've shown you in this video some different uh, examples of outlines that I've done for different classes and this is what it looks like you know you take your main ideas and you take the supporting um, ideas under that main idea and then you also put examples with case case law statutes codes things of that nature in order to support what the main idea is the next method is still more effective than outlining and it is called the Cornell note-taking format it's basically a way for you to organize your ideas into a, a specific place by also, and it also allows you to quiz yourself on whether or not you understand and know, know the information. You fold a piece of note paper and you write uh, a main idea on the left hand side and then um, on the other side you write the supporting ideas under it. So when, if it's a definition you put the word and then you put its definition on the right hand side. This helps you to test 
whether or not you understand um, the information that you're trying to study. And it also helps with ret retention and also helps you to make sure, to just gauge your level of understanding. You know, take these notes from your lecture, your lecture notes or your textbook. Um, create questions that you want to ask your professor. It helps to, you know, maybe in the next class you can ask your professor uh, about something that you don't necessarily understand based off of this method. Um, it's, help, it's helpful for self-testing purposes, so it'll be great to do this. This is a great method. It's a little bit more effective than outlining, but not as effective as the next step. Most effective for me is going to be note cards. I love flashcarding my material. It helps me so much. I can do it in the shower, of course kind of keeping them outside the shower so they don't get wet. Um, I can do it on the train, I can do it not really in my car so much so, but any time I have spare time I can use my note cards to kind of self-test. Um, it helps so much, so much. It allows me to study on the go and allows me to really test my knowledge of what it is I'm expected to know for the semester. So and this is helpful in my criminal law, your criminal law class. It's helpful in torts to get to know definitions of things. Um, you know, if you have um, words in your classes that have or have, have more than one element to them, it's helpful to write those elements down on one side and write the, def the, the word on the other. That way you can quiz yourself on what those elements are. This is going to be crucial in law school, especially if you're taking the classes that you're expected to take. <laughs> um, so note cards, flashcards are awesome. Um, I usually get a stack of them. I, you got, I, show, I think I showed you guys this in my um, my law school essentials video, um, it's definitely helpful. They're gonna be essential in law school for you to know and understand material, and it's gonna be a great way for you to just take your studies along with you wherever you go. Um, so note cards and flashcards are gonna be your best friend. Lastly, this kind of goes along with the flashcard, is an app called Quizlet. This particular app is kind of a, it's a note card app that allows you to type in the material that you want to study. Um, it creates your own, it allows you to create your own set of online flashcards and you can add text, you can add um, pictures, you can copy and paste from other sources and it allows you to study online and on the go. So we're all attached to our phones so you definitely want to add Quizlet onto your phone. It's a free app and it's awesome. It allows you to really just do whatever you need to do. And an, an additional thing is it allows you, it can read the flashcards to you. So if you can't necessarily stare at them, but you can listen, maybe pop in your headphones, it allows you to study in any way possible because it gets you into your information uh, without you necessarily having to click through and look at it. You can, ha it can read the audio or read the text that you've typed in for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial through how I study and how I prepare for my midterms and exams. If you guys want to see additional videos on how I study and what I do specifically, I can definitely do that. I love you guys and I'll be back with another video soon. Talk to you later.